What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and iOS 11.1 Beta 5 has been released today. A bit unexpected, uh, because we thought Beta 4 would be the Gold Master, the GM final build, but apparently there is another one. So this one has a build number of 15B93 over the last one, which was 15B92, and there is no change in storage. So I had 53.16 on Beta 3 and on the new Beta 5, so no change there. And this one was a pretty small update, coming in for me personally about 40 megabytes. Now, now going from beta 3 to this, you do get the massive 2 gigabyte update, but you wouldn't get that from beta 4. So uh, what can I say? First off, there are a couple of things that have changed, but before I get into that, I wanted to talk about bugs. I've been personally using iOS 11.1 beta 4 for the last few days, and I was on a trip using navigation. And the one issue that really, really ticked me off is that during map usage, the navigation turn by turn would just freeze and hang and it would stutter. It was so ridiculously just annoying and I had to use Google Maps, but even that had the same issue. It's as if the GPS chip inside of the iPhone 8, 8 Plus on iOS 11.1 isn't working very well. I don't know what it is, but apparently this new version of beta 5 11.1 actually fixes it. So there is a point in the actual change log where it explicitly mentions JavaScript execution during WK navigation delegate. So basically they did fix some sort of responsiveness with that navigation issue. So I'm hoping that will be fixed. I'm assuming it is. I'll have to test it out, of course. Now, another change reported by users is that actually when you get down to 10% low battery usage, it'll actually create an alert. So you'll hear a sound now on your device. It's different than what it was before. Now, I'll have to definitely drain my battery to hear that. I can't do that right now to show you guys. And a few bugs I wanted to mention that were interesting, but I'm really hoping get fixed before the final release of 11.1 because they're still present on this beta 5. So on the lock screen, going into the camera, there's this shutter. You'll notice a chop in the animation. It's a little jarring when sliding this across. I don't know why it's so not smooth. They fixed the 3D touch animation, but not this one. So I'm hoping this one gets fixed. Just try it on your device. You'll notice it right away. A little hard to see on the camera. Also, an interesting one pointed out online, uh, in the calculator, if you're actually adding things very, very fast, you get a completely wrong result. So check this out. I'm gonna do this real quick. Do this on your calculator if you wanna see, it's very interesting. One plus two plus three equals 24, what? So basically the calculator doesn't have a great refresh rate for the buttons. You have to do it slower. One plus two plus three. Oh, actually that's not even that slow. One plus two plus three. Okay, that's ridiculous. I thought if you do it only fast, it would work, but no, one plus two plus three is 24, apparently, according to Apple. So do that on your calculator. It's ridiculous that it works, uh, but you have to type things in really, really slow to get the right result, or apparently not. That's just wrong in general. <laughs> All right. All right. So there is a new auto brightness dimming bug where if you have your device set on auto brightness and especially if you're on a darker application, when the display actually dims because of that auto lock feature and then you go back to wake it, you're going to get a really bright display and then it dims. It's a little jarring. It's it's choppy too. It has this weird transition between the light and dark. So Try it out yourself, uh, but it definitely is there and I'm hoping Apple fixes that before the final release. And one more time for you, notice how it gets really bright and then dims right away. All right guys, there it is, iOS 11.1 developer beta 5, not a very huge update, but a couple notable changes and hopefully the bugs do get ironed out before release because I'm looking forward to this being the most stable version of 11.1, hopefully. It's been pretty awful so far, everyone's been complaining, so hopefully Apple does fix those things. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed it, stay tuned for more, peace.